Hello again, everyone. It's Jeremy with JMed's Brick Clicks. We're back with another video. We're looking at the blacksmith shop that came out earlier this year. It finally came back into stock. So with a couple of the free gift with purchase giveaways, I decided no uh, better time to do it. So let's get into it. Uh, this set cost, um, I believe, $150. I gotta check on that. I'm honestly not sure. I think it was 150. But we'll get into it here. Here's the manual for it. And the one thing people are starting to notice, I know I noticed it with the Elf Clubhouse back in December. Well, I guess back in September when I bought it, but I didn't get to build it until December. I typically don't build those until the December time. The number set number isn't marked on here on any side or the sides nothing so when you're trying to go on brick set to enter in your sets and you've just got the manuals which basically is how i've done it you have no idea what set number it is to just type it in and unless you know the exact name the exact wording you're not going to find that set on there now you can search by year or by theme, but it's still kind of a challenge sometimes. So being an idea set like this one, it uh, it can be a challenge. So let's take a chance of looking at the inside, some of the tree builds. Interior, I just flipped through a few pages here just to give you guys an idea. Um, how many steps are there? I am curious about that. Well, once we get to the very last bag, that's when you build the little building. Um, let's see, set 308. 309 for the building. And then it looks like we got another 14 steps for the little carriage build. All right, so we'll do that carriage first because that way we can kind of move him off to the side later and make this, do a rotation on this and make it a little bit easier to see. So you get two knights with this set and this new shoulder piece, which, and a single, sh or side, one shoulder piece and then the double shoulder piece. That's very interesting. Um, this is the first horse I've got that has the legs that can, let me pop him off right here and show you guys where the horse kind of has a bronco look to it where he can go back and kick i think every other horse i have i probably have a couple dozen they're all just the solid uh where that there's no hinge on the back of it so let's get that set back in there okay and our little carriage isn't anything special let me try to see in there. I just got some of the extra pieces they give you. You get an axe that you have to make. It's actually the old spear in a gray color and then an axe head piece clip. And then that lightsaber handle. Uh, what else do we get? Let's flip it around to the other side. And you see both the knights have the Black Falcon logo. I was going to grab a, several of my other Black Falcon Knights because I have the old castle. The, not the original one that came out in the middle 80s. I got the Lego Legends one. The numbers like 10,001 or 10,002. All those legends started right at 10,000 and then like four or five sets were just sequential numbers right after that. 10,001, 2, 3. And... That's where I got my Black Falcon castle from. I do have a, several of the Black Falcon Knights, though, from the middle, early 80s that my parents got me back when they were new. So we'll move him off to the side. And only because I want to be able to rotate this building so you guys can see it some. So we'll start here. You see our little forge right here and our anvil. And you push in this little thing. Let's see if that shows on camera. So I don't know if it will or not. Yep. So we got the red light brick in there. And you can kind of see it light up. 
interesting little side feature. I mean, one thing I'm kind of concerned about long term is with these builds is the little battery corroding in, you know, three to five years. Now, these light bricks, I think if you get on the Lego Bricks and Pieces site <clears throat> to get missing pieces or replacement pieces or just to order a bunch of pieces from a certain set, these light bricks are like less than $4 a piece, but still they're $4 a piece and you have to order them and you'd have to order, you know, $35 or more and stuff just to get the free shipping. So something to keep in mind, you know, years from now, like all the... Christmas sets, the Winter Village sets all seem to have a light brick and you know, I've got a few of them over the years and I'm starting to wonder if I shouldn't try to take it apart and change the battery in some of the older ones that are two or three years old by now. Uh, let's see here. Now, like I said, this is an idea set. If you guys haven't checked out the original design, um, check that out, do a search. It was a lot more detailed but it honestly looked a lot more fragile. So I, that was probably one thing that when the Lego creators at Lego redesigned it to make it more stable and more cost effective from a part standpoint. Um, I'm sure that's what happened here when you look at the old original design. Oh, uh, let's see. We do have two. Well, this set comes with four minifigures. We got the archer here, and then we've got the blacksmith inside. We'll take these modular pieces off and try to look at them individually. As we rotate around to the side, you can kind of see the door up in here. Let me get my little pointer out rather than using my finger. So we've got our door way up in here, all our windows, a um, little wishing well here. This custom build, this is one bag with just this tree. Honestly, that was probably the biggest pain to me was building it. It turned out great, but one whole bag number was just this tree. And that has a little bit of a kind of a pain just trying to get it all done. I love the way that they did these arches for the wooden support beams. And they're pinned in. You can see there's pins right there that hold it in place. And then we've got our hinge piece up here to give it that shape. And we go around. We've got some, the way they've got it built, just the shingles missing. We've got some kind of indication of moss up top. Oh yes, the set does come with a little dog. And I forgot to mention right in here, which if we flip this around, it does have all those wood your stacks of wood down in here. I'll do a full rotation over here. You get a pumpkin with it. You get a dog, a little husky dog. And let's see. There's how we turn in our light. And the way this roof is, it's modular kind of in and amongst itself where if we can lift this off correctly and it may not want to come off on that side actually you know what when you put the chimney on the chimney is a build bag by itself it doesn't allow you so that's a little thing i just learned on that side but to access it you can take this off and it just lifts off hopefully it still just lifts off and i'll show you how they did the back it's on those uh ball coupler joints where that they're just hinged on there to where you know, if you wanted to do it you could do that so let's see here let's raise the camera up and look into this so one of the coolest things is by far the bearskin rug we've got our bed we've got our little table the inkwell and our little candle back there. Make sure I get into that a little more. We've got a fireplace back there and our treasure chest, which has a backpack in it. I'll go back a little bit on this. So that's our third floor. And there are a set of steps that go to this. And that's what this hole is right here that you guys 
really can't see from that angle. But we'll take this next part off and we'll go down to the second floor, which the third floor is just the sleeping floor. And we'll look down into this. You guys look at all my extra trees. I might do a video on those trees later on at some point. So we've got our little butter churner thing here. It actually moves. It's like they might be making some cabbage or something. The carrot is kind of neat because you get the little one by one tile and it kind of looks like they've been slicing. We got a pot on the stove. Looks like it's got a carrot in it. These chairs are interesting where they use the uh, fireman axes on each side. That's a really cool design. And then we'll look all the way in. Get a chair. You've got your barrel of ale down here. All right. Now we'll take off the next level. Get this camera set flat. And we'll look at our bottom level, which is all the blacksmith shop. And it looks like the blacksmith's in there doing his thing. He's got his anvil. He's got a pile of his ore. Or no, that's actually there. It's going to be coal for his forge right there. And back here, he's got all his iron rods to work and make. And he got his hammer there and his broom. Looks like he's got a mask and some stuff done. There's his bricks of iron to work on. The door does open. And that's what we've got for the blacksmith. Now we'll put it all back together and get this camera set right. Be sure I get it in the right spot so you guys can see the whole thing being put back together. And it's kind of weird when you're putting it together because it doesn't seem like, do it like this, it doesn't seem like it would go on. Actually, we'll turn it back. With this overhang here, it kind of seems a little weird or off, but that's just the way it's built, and that's actually probably more realistic. And then we'll take this set, or this top part, which is the third floor. We'll flip this around so you guys can see that dormer window and our double chimney. And we'll line that up. And then the last thing to do is put our roof piece, and it kind of just sits in there. And there we go. It's a great little set. I did a little kind of run over of the box. I'll show that here in a minute. And it's got the part count and all that stuff because I know I didn't cover that already. But that's what we got, guys. I love the apple tree. I do plan on making an apple tree for this, uh, for my Lego farm later on. And Kind of gives me an idea. I don't think I'm, I may not use this type of idea. It has a very Japanese tree look to it. I don't know, maybe that's just me. But I did want to use that or at least have it. I might end up using this maybe more so for maybe a side piece in my Lego farm. You know, like a edge of town type thing transitioning into the farm. Because it does have a, a countryside vibe to it. English countryside maybe. But, uh, yeah, that's that's probably the biggest thing, reason that kind of sold me. I wasn't sold on this right off the bat. Um, it kind of took me a little while, watched a couple reviews on it, see some pictures of it, and then kind of got a few ideas. Um, one of the other biggest things was another one of my builds that I'm working on. This gave me a little bit of inspiration for the exterior on this other build that I will get to probably in the next day or two. If you guys are watching this months or weeks, years from now, who knows, you'll see the other build. It, uh, they kind of, I think they go together quite well. Um, stay tuned if you haven't, uh, if you guys, if, if you're watching this when it's brand new, stay tuned for that. So I do have a, and this is a totally custom build that I'm going to show off here in a little bit. 
in another video. And I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison with it because I think these two buildings will compare very well or complement each other um, in my Lego farm. So thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for a little rundown of the box front and back. And then stay tuned at the very end for the music and the still shots. See you next time. If we look at the dimensions, you can see it's ten and a half by ten and a half. Um, other things on here, the light brick, we'll get to that. The chairs are a really interesting design. Here's an overview of the back of the box. And here's an overview of the front of the box. You got the flap open up there. I'll get some details down here at the bottom. Let's see what we got here. Our piece count. Our set number. And the 33rd Lego Ideas set to be made reality.